Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Crandall and I'm a professional ballroom dancer as well as fitness instructor. The focus of this video is all about competition cardio. So I'm super excited to be here with you today to give you some tips and tricks and exercises that can really help you stay in shape and stay fit during this crazy time so that we can come back to the dance floor more prepared, more ready for practices and for competitions. Now a quick little info and background about me. I started ballroom dancing at the age of six and I started as a pro-am student doing American Rhythm, American Smooth, and International Latin. I danced as an amateur for about 18 years before I turned pro in 2017. As a professional, I competed in American Rhythm and American Smooth. And in just one year, I was able to obtain a National Professional Rising Star Rhythm and Smooth title, as well as become a National Open Professional American Style Nine Dance Champion. Now, although I've been involved in dance my whole life, I've also been heavily involved in athletics and fitness and I'm a certified spin instructor as well as yoga teacher. So as you can see, my whole life has been about movement. And throughout my career as a dancer and also a fitness instructor, I have learned a ton about how cross training and exercises that we do off of the dance floor can really optimize our physical performance on the dance floor. So many of us, and I'm guilty of this from time to time as well, we focus on our cardio right before a competition or maybe a show. And when we do that, we can often shock our body into stress if we're not prepared for that. So we use our practice rounds and our practice time to focus on our cardio. When in reality, when we focus on our cardio outside of the gym, what we're doing is we're training our body to have a certain level of cardiovascular health so that when it does come to those practice rounds or the competition, or maybe you have two days of competition, maybe three, what you're doing is you're gonna train your body to have that certain level, level of health and endurance so that when you go to those practice rounds or the competition, you're not focused on, oh my God, can I survive? I'm out of breath. Instead, you're focused on the things that matter. Maybe those practice rounds, you take time to go through your choreography or your facials or where your positions are. And during a competition, that is the last thing you wanna worry about is if you can make it through a round. So I am a huge, huge promoter of cross training, especially for cardio. So my personal favorite, obviously, is spin. I'm a certified cycling instructor, and actually I started doing spin as a cross training for ballroom. I started with one of my best friends. We're both dancers, and we saw a cycling class, and we thought, hmm, let's try that. It looks like it would be good. And I loved it. I loved it from day one. Obviously, I became a teacher in it. That's how much I love it. But what I like about it is it's really low impact on your body and it's really high energy. And half the time you are out of that bike for 45 minutes. So you gotta be mentally focused, you have to be physically focused, and it's a really wonderful cross training for ballroom. But I understand that that's not everybody's thing. Maybe you don't wanna be in a spin class. So what I'm gonna do here today is instead take you through a hit style interval training that's gonna mimic doing rounds at a competition or even practice rounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a set of certain exercises for about a minute and a half. We're gonna take a 30 second break, a minute and a half on, 30 seconds off, and we're gonna do that five times. So most rounds, unless you're doing smooth, are gonna be five dances. So you gotta be ready to go for at least 10 minutes straight. So we're gonna start with a quick little warm up, and then we're, I'm gonna show you each exercise and then we're gonna do it for about a minute and a half. Now, I don't have a stopwatch or anything in front of me and maybe you don't either. So instead, I'm gonna do each exercise about 10 times. When it's alternating, I'm gonna do five on each leg. So if you do it slow enough and with the correct form, you're gonna get it to about 25 to 30 seconds each exercise. So you'll see how that builds as we go. So maybe grab some water, maybe grab a towel, get ready. We're gonna do some competition cardio, hit style, inter interval training. So here we go, let's get started. We're gonna do a little bit of a warm up first. So I'm going to turn this little camera down real quick. Let's see so you can see me. All right, so let's start with a few neck rolls. You can bring the hands to the hips. Let's roll the neck down just side to side, keeping the chin to the chest. Nice and down. Now I recommend putting on your favorite playlist. Make a playlist that's about 10 to 15 minutes long some high energy songs. Now go ahead and roll it back. We're gonna roll it counterclockwise, back and around, back and around, other side, around, foot down, around, down, 
Last one, around and down. Let's do some shoulder rolls back. Ooh, open up that chest, roll the shoulders down. So making sure the key is to warm up. Don't just jump into these exercises right away. Get a little loose. Maybe you want to do some other stretches. Switch it forward. Nice. Nice work. Let's do alternating. So right, then left. Right, then left. Good. Rolling the shoulders back, loosening up the neck. Other side. Go forward. 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 All right. So let's go ahead and grab our ribs. We're going to do some rib isolations. Take it to the right. Take it to the left. Take it to the right. And left. Side to side. Good. Last one. Now we're going to open the chest up and round it back. Now when I open it up, open, expand, tuck the belly in. Open it up. Start to engage the core here. Open it up and in. Last one. And in. Now we start to roll the chest. Counterclockwise. Ooh, crack my own back. See, warming up is key. There we go. Other way. Other way. And other way. Good. Now let's add some plie stretches. We squat down, stretch up. Inhale, exhale, flat back, fold forward. And roll the body up. Two more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Roll it on up, last one. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. And roll it up. All right, so again, I'm gonna do each exercise about 10 times to mimic the amount of timing that we need. Again, if you have a stopwatch, minute 30. Let's go, let's set that stopwatch. We're gonna start with quick feet. We're gonna get our heart rate going. We're gonna go in and out, in and out. Then we go forward to back, forward to back. And then we're gonna do butt kicks. So bringing the heel to the bum. And then we go into high knees. So we bring those knees up and up. I like to think of a moving motion as I do it. Up, 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 up. So start your stopwatch. If you're with me, we're gonna do 10 seconds for each thing. Here we go. So we've got quick feet in and out, in, out, in. in. Again, if you've got music, put it on, crank it up. Get yourself motivated here. Good. Three, two, one, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, good. Ooh, getting that nice little squat position. There you go. Three, two, one, right away, butt kicks. Here we go. Go take this down. Bring the bomb, take the bomb. There you go. Nice, again, core. Three, two, one, 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 Good, use those arms. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, take a quick second here. Breathe. So already your heart rate should be up. It should be going. You're probably sweating already, like me. All right, let's take 10 more seconds. Take a big inhale. Let it go in through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more inhale. And exhale. Next, we've got exercises to engage our core and warm up our legs. We've got alternating lunges. We're gonna step parallel, stretch over the body, and up. Parallel, stretch, up. We're gonna do five on each side. And then the next one, parallel, twist, up. Parallel, twist, up. Then we've got a curtsy lunge. We step side, cross behind. Step side, cross behind. All right, follow along. Here we go, we've got five each leg, so 10 total. If you've got a stopwatch, then the half. Let's go. Drop down and stretch. There you go, drop down, stretch. Up. And four. Halfway. Good, stay with it. Nice and control. Four. Three more. Last two. Last one, let's move right away into those twist lunges. So down, twist. Hold those hands at your chest. Shoulders down. Elbows parallel. Good. Twist. Go to the side. Down. Twist. Twist over the foot that's in front. Last three. Last two. Last one. All right, we've got those curtsy lunges. 
heels on hips. Down and push down. Stay up, down, up, down, up, down. There you go. Whew. I'm already sweating. I hope you are too. Here you go. That's three. This is two. Let's have one more. Down and relax. 30 seconds break. Try not to grab water here because we're trying to mimic a competition round. And most people <laughs> don't get a chance to go off the floor in between dances to grab some water. You can towel off though, just try to keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. So another big thing about cardio, especially when we're doing it for a competition, try to stay upright. Try to imagine you're still on the floor. Keep a nice posture, maintain a smile maybe. <laughs> Shoulders down, try to relax yourself in between each set. When to relax yourself, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. One more time. All right, here we go. We're gonna move on to the next exercise. We're gonna really work our core and explosive power here. So what we're gonna do, I want that plie squat position. Your arms are gonna be at a T. We're gonna squat down, bring the knee to the elbow. Make sure you're not dropping down I don't want to crunch the side. Bring this up. We're working our external and internal obliques this way. So five on each leg. Then we bring the knee across. Plie, across. Plie, across the body. And as I go across, I'm twisting my upper body the other way. So when I go here, down, twist the opposite way. Other way, down, twist the other way. It's gonna create more ab work and keep you super, super balanced. Then the last one we've got, parallel position, down, knee up, down, knee up. All right, let's do five on each side. 10 total for each, here we go. Three, two, one, squat down, down, up, down, Woo. Good, that's four, that's five, other side, down, but you down. Make me crazy. Three, exhale, three, knee up. This really helps you calm the system in between each set, so you look very composed, very controlled. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is work out that inner thigh strength. So we're gonna drop down back to that PA, and we're just gonna pulse. So we're gonna pulse, we're gonna do about 30 of these, and then we're going to pulse, calf raise, pulse, calf raise. And when you hit that calf raise, hold it for a second, release down and up. We'll do 20 of those, and then we're gonna do crazy cool squats that are really, really tough. You're gonna find out the plie position. You're going to bring that right hand up and over as you rotate that knee down. Now stand up. Same knee that rotated down is gonna step back. Open up. Other way, stand up. Then we're gonna speed it up. Down, up, push, 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 up. So that one, I really want a lot of strength, a lot of tone in the arms, a lot of tone in your core. All right, here we go. We've got two more sets. This is the second to last one. Drop it on down to a plie position, and let's pulse. We're in 30 of these. So right here, find your happy place. Maybe you're in the studio, that's your happy place. Maybe you're in the gym. Maybe you're going through your 
Get about that strength for doing that. Not the strength, the burden. Just let it go. Keep pulsing. Now, if you're doing fitness instruction, being a competitive dancer, there are a few things that I've learned about how to keep your cardio going from a mental standpoint. Good, you've got 10 more. You gotta keep positive. You gotta stay positive and you have to be your best cheerleader. That's three, two, one, let it go. We're gonna move into pull, uh, plie squat to calf raise, 20 of them. Down, up, down, up, good. You can release the arms down if you want, a little bit extra, forward work. So when you're doing this cardio, your mind's gonna tell you you're tired, your legs are weak, your core is giving out. Your mind is gonna tell you because it's going into survival mode. It doesn't want you to keep going. It doesn't think that it can survive. But your body can withstand a whole heck of a lot of exercise. You gotta tell yourself that you can do it. You've gotta be positive and continue on. You gotta be your friend up in your mind. Good. Six more. Even right now, I gotta tell my own self that I can do this. Keep going. Three, two, one. Back down to that squat. Arms out. Rotate in. Stand up. Push out. Open up. Left. Up. Back down. Out. We're doing ten of these. Out. Down. Up. There we go. My legs are burning. Woo. Yeah, so good. Stay positive. Be your own motivator. Make some noise if you want to. Yell out. Woo. Good. Here we go. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Push out. And a two. Whew. Hopefully your heart rate is up. You are sweating just like me. Take 30 seconds. You've got this. Stay positive. Stay with it. Use that grounding breath. Inhale. Exhale. So when we inhale through the nose, we're taking in cool air, fresh air. We're cooling down the internal body. When we exhale with our mouth open, we're releasing that heat that's built up. So we're actually cooling our body down. Inhale. Now maybe you're walking to a new spot on the floor. You're finding your balance. Just take a few steps, walk around, rock side to side, continue that grounding breath. It's gonna calm you down. It's gonna ground you back down to the earth. Good, all right, this is our last set. This one is all about muscle, strength, and endurance. Do your best, do the best that you can. This is the last one. So what we've got, we've got tiptoe lunges. So we're gonna go out and out, take it back, take it back. Again, I'm in that squat position, not super wide, but more parallel, side to side then back for two, that's one set. Then we've got lunges side to side. Using those arms, lunge into the right leg as you lift the right arm. Center, left side. Center, other side. Center, left side. Good. Center, center. Nice. All right, and last one, you guys all know this. If you've danced tractor before, we're just gonna do a time step. We're gonna bring those arms out, two, three, bring them together, four, and here. So what I want you to focus on, don't focus on the technique unless that is your focus right now. Focus on your core. Twist, 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 twist. So I'm twisting my body the opposite way. So I'm really holding on to that external oblique, my transverse abdominis, everything is working here. All right, this is your last one. Minute and a half, last round, it's your jive, it's your mambo, it's your quick step, it's your viennese. Last song, here we go, tiptoe lunges. Let's begin. Side to side, back and back. Here you go, that's one. We're doing this 10 times. Crew to crew. That's what I call all of my spin students. Here we go, that's three. Now this one again, it's about the muscle endurance, the strength. How long can you hold on to this? How long can you stay low after we just did four other exercises? Sets of exercises, not just four, that's five. We're halfway through. Back. Back, we go stay with it, stay with it. This is seven. Again, if you've got that stopwatch, perfect. Fifth and half. There you go, we've got two more sets. Take it back, take it back. My muscles are burning, this is endurance right here. Stay focused, stay mentally focused. Don't lose that. Back, 
Last one, three, that's two, and one. All right, we've got those lunge twists. Right leg, right arm up, down. That's one, 10 times. That's two, Woo. down. You can look down, try not to tuck the chin or look up too much and flex the neck. Just nice long neck, long neck, side to side. Side to side, down. Now again, I'm starting to use my core. I'm extending my arms up, reach. Reach from side to side. Go, go. Three, two, and one. All right. Last 30 seconds. We've got that traffic time step. Twist, two, three. Twist, twist, twist that body. And side. You should feel that core working so much, especially at the end. Maybe you have mambo. Maybe you have jive. You gotta keep going, you gotta keep moving. Come on. Four, three, two, so good. One, let it go. Take your bow, very, very good job. Beautiful work. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. I have to catch my breath. So hopefully, you gained a little bit of knowledge. Hopefully you had a good workout like me and you did this. Just know you can always go back in the video and you can watch it again. You can write these work these workouts down, take them with you to the studio, to the gym. Again, you can do this in your hotel room before a competition or even in the hotel gym. So just know that this interval cardio cross training is super, super important. And if you do this, let's say, three to five times a week. Five is like, you're going for it. Three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you're gonna see a huge, huge difference in your cardiovascular health. You're gonna be mentally a lot more prepared to handle the competitions and the practice and the practice rounds. And when you are at those practice rounds and those competitions, you're not gonna be focused on your cardio. You're not gonna be thinking, can I make it, can I not? You're gonna be ready to go. Your cardiovascular health is gonna be prime time and you're gonna get so much more out of your practices. You're gonna feel like you can perform at your best. You can focus on the things that are important. So thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Natalie. Be sure to subscribe to Dance Vision too. They've got tons, tons of videos for you guys full of information. But for now, keep moving, keep exercising, keep dancing, and we'll be back together all together sometime soon. But thank you so much.